Hello and welcome to TaxSale.info. Today we're going to be going over how to create an account and get set up on our website in order to place a bid in one of our auctions. If this is your first time to our website, this is the home page that you'll see. There are two spots you can click on in order to get registered for an account. This orange button here in the middle of the page or in the upper right corner, you can click on login or register here. Both go to the same page, so choose either one. If you already have an account, this is where you would log in to it on our website right here. Or if you don't, you can fill out this form and register for a new account. If you are not a citizen of the United States, you will need to fill out an additional form and contact us directly to get manually authorized. Otherwise, go ahead and fill out this form. Uh, please keep in mind we do use an identity verification service, so please enter accurate information in here. Otherwise, you will get an error message when trying to log in stating that your account is not authorized. And if that does happen, no worries. Just give us a call and we can help you get manually authorized. Otherwise, uh, go ahead and check this box and click register now and that will create your account. Once you've done that, you should be able to log into the website. So we'll go ahead and jump ahead and log in with an example account that I've created here. Go ahead and enter your username. Please keep in mind that this is not necessarily your email. This is gonna be the username that you selected when filling out this form on the right side here. Whatever you entered in this field here is what you'll wanna use when logging into the account. So we'll go ahead and do that. And the first screen that you'll see is the My Account page. Uh, this is the gonna automatically open every time you log into the website. And in the middle of that page, you'll see two different boxes. The pink one is stating that you are not authorized for online bidding yet. You will have to do a $1,000 pre-authorization on a major credit card in order to do so. And the second box is stating that you do not have deed information saved on your account, which is what you would want to appear on a deed should you end up winning any lots in one of our auctions. For our purposes for this video, we're just going to focus on the authorization hold and entering deed information, which are the only two steps you'll need to do prior to placing a bid. We'll go ahead and get started with deed information first. You can click that link in the yellow box to take you to this page where you select the party type, which would be a married couple, a single individual, or a business or other entity. A single individual does not mean that you are marital status single, but rather just one person on the deed. That person can be married or single, it doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and select that as an example, and then you choose between single man, single woman, married man, married woman, or a woman as their sole and separate property. For this example, we'll just choose a single man and enter some example information here. You can enter your email address, phone number, as well as the address that you would like to appear on the deed. The email and phone number don't appear on the deed itself, but we do ask that you enter that information in case we have a question about it. Go ahead and hit submit, and then you'll see a confirmation of what deed information you just entered. If you realized you've made a mistake, you can click edit to change whatever you need to change, or delete to start over from scratch. You can also add additional deed information if necessary. Uh, you go ahead and click add new deed information and just repeat the steps. In this case, let's do a business just to give an example. Uh, we'll choose the type of business. In this case, let's choose limited liability. Enter the name of your LLC, the state that it's registered in, email, phone number, just like on the other one. And then the address as well. Keep in mind by default, we do mail to the address listed on the deed. If you would like us to mail this to a different address, just give us a call and let us know and we'll make a note in your account. All right, once we've entered that information, your second deed info will appear here and you can do with what you please, editing or deleting or changing however you need to. Once you've entered your deed information, we'll click on My Account again to go back to that original page. You'll see there's no longer a yellow box asking you to enter the deed info because you've already completed that step. So lastly, we need to get authorized for online bidding, which is what this pink box is telling you. Uh, this is where you'll place your $1,000 authorization hold on a major credit card. You just click here to get pre-authorized to start that process. 
This page is going to explain what's happening here. We will be placing a $1,000 authorization on your card, which will lower your available balance by that amount. You can also use a debit card for the authorization step. However, we don't recommend doing this because your bank will restrict $1,000 from your available cash in your checking account, and sometimes they do hold it for up to 30 days. For that reason, we recommend using a credit card instead of a debit card, if at all possible. In most cases, this will only remain a pending authorization. We do not collect this money or take the money out of your account unless it's being charged as a penalty for failing to complete your sale. You'll want to carefully review the rules and regulations that are linked here on this screen as well. All of our auctions are governed by these rules and regulations, so make sure to read through them prior to placing any bids. Go ahead and check that box and then click continue to move on to the next step. Uh, just confirm that your user information is correct. This is what we use to contact you should you actually win a lot in one of our auctions. Uh, go ahead and click continue if it is correct or click there to update it if it needs to. The next screen is going to be where you'll enter your credit card information and billing address. You'll just go ahead and complete the form here and follow the prompts to place that authorization hold. Keep in mind this is only valid for 30 days. So you're not going to want to do this step until you're at least 30 days uh, from the date of the auction you're looking to bid in. If you do it earlier than that, you won't actually be able to place any bids on the website since our bidding only opens 30 days prior to the auction date. So just keep that in mind while you're doing this. Um, you know, you could skip this step if it's a little earlier in the season and we're not too close to the auctions yet. But go ahead and complete this form and then it will take you back to the My Account page where you'll now see a green box stating that you are authorized for online bidding. Now that you've completed both of those steps, you're ready to start browsing and placing bids on our website. That's what we'll cover in the next video, so I'll see you there.